What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I want you to assume that your friend has a birthday or you're celebrating the success of one of your friends. And the way that you're going to do that is you're going to go to a bowling alley and you're going there to have fun. You're going there to enjoy yourself. And for whatever reason, there is a bowling ball dispute between you and somebody else. And maybe you don't think nothing of it, you know, have a few words and, you know, because you have something to live for. You know, you, your mother, your father, and that's going to be that. But, you know, when you get outside, there's somebody that you were arguing with outside and they have a pistol. Gunshots, please. And that's the end of your existence. All because of a bowling ball dispute. Now, it sounds like something that's written out of a, uh, a gangster movie in South Central LA. But no, this happened in Southwest Atlanta at the Metro Fun Center. Now, I do know from what I've read, Southwest Atlanta is one of the least safe areas in Atlanta. And unfortunately, the, the person that suffered this um, fatal shot was not a black man. It was a black mother. Okay. Her name was Sharina Jackson. She is one of the baby mothers of young thug. Now, um, they met each other when they were in high school. They have a 14 year old child together and she had a baby by young thug before he became very famous. But allegedly the shooter, um, of her was not another black woman. It was a man. And some people are saying that the man was, uh, possibly a gay man. And I, I want to talk about this because a lot of times we don't take people serious as maybe we should, especially with um, some of these threats, right? And I want people to, 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 to really think about this. A city like Atlanta, New York City, Los Angeles, everything you do is on video record. There's cameras everywhere. You do something, you might get away with it momentarily. They're going to find you, all right? You're going to be in prison. But I want people to understand we have people who have nothing to live for in black America, nothing to live for at all. Okay. They don't have anything to do, no purpose, and they don't care about what's going to happen to them. They don't care about what's going to happen to you. All they care about is I'm upset about something and somebody has to die. And when you live uh, or, or, or you go to places around that, that's the danger you putting yourself in. All because somebody just don't give a damn. And it's not just, you know, um, when, you know, other guys, listen, these guys are taking ladies out too. You know, I, I talked about the other day, there's a woman that shot another woman. And I, I want to talk to people, you know, really in, in, in personal conversations nowadays. You know, I used to, you know, like I said, you know, argue people over something like over, over bowling ball, bro, you got it. It's okay. There you go. Seriously. You want the bowling ball? It's fine. You know, sometimes I'm, 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 I'm in, in life right now. I'm picking my battles. I want everybody, especially black men. Listen, some of you guys can fight. Some of you guys um, got a license to carry. But what I want to tell you is this. There are people out there willing to do stuff to you where you will not uh, suspect it. And you could be out there not prepared. And a lot of times when you get a little bit older, it's just not worth all of that. Like the other day, I was taking um, a, a motorbike um, to where I lived. And the guy was like, um, yo, I can just give you a, um, a ride down there. So it was maybe no more than 500 feet. The dude was like trying to charge me like $2. Um, I was like, no, 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 no. It was like $3. I was like, bro, you know, that ain't no damn $3. And, you know, I, I, I thought about like, you know what? Let me, um, let me, let me, let me go back and forth with this guy. But you know what? It's okay. Here you go, bro. You, you have a good day. It's not, it's not even worth me. I'm just picking my battles. Like I'm just trying to get to where I'm trying to go. Cause what I'm about to do is going to make me some thousands of dollars today. So you keep the three It's worth it to you. You keep it because I don't know what you got. Or I don't know what you, how you might feel, how your day is. You got it. And I want people to understand something. And this is no shot at Southwest Atlanta. Um, I think at uh, outcast from South, Southwest Atlanta, but let me just tell you like this, work hard people to get yourself and your children and your loved ones 
out of Negro danger. I'm going to say it again. Get people away from crazy Negro. This is why I don't go to concerts. You know what I'm saying? I don't go if I'm in the States. I don't go to nightclubs. I used to be wanting to go where it's cracking at until I started, you know, gunshots. I'm cool. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't even go to those places. I used to go to uh, Shouts at the Country Club on White Avenue. You know, it's bowling alleys out there. I used to want to have fun. It, but it's too much shit that goes down. All right? It just is. Too much stuff that goes down. You know, I ain't got time for that. All right? If I'm going to go somewhere that, you know, I'm going to go way out of the, you know, where I'm supposed to be at and have a good time. I'm not going to be somewhere where it's going to be danger and folks don't know how to act. I'm sorry. I'm just not. And you and you look at it and I, this is going to sound elitist. And, and, and people are going to get mad at me, but I got to tell the truth, guys. I got to tell the truth because I care about your safety. Hanging out in dangerous neighborhoods or dangerous areas, and I've never been to Atlanta, I, I could be wrong. But wherever there's, you know, going to be those kind of issues at, and it do be mo it do be popping over where the, where, where the majority of blacks are, you better take your ass somewhere outside of the city. You want to have a, a, a outing, a family event, better not do it. If you're in Sacramento, you better not do it on the north side. Northgate, certain parts of the Thomas, you better take your shit to Rockland or Roseville somewhere, Granite Bay somewhere, where folk ain't gonna be acting a fool. And I, 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 you know, I hate to say this because you, you do have a lot of blacks who do know how to um, act right, but you got some people that just don't care. All it takes is two or three people or one person who don't care about the rest of the people, and there you go. That that's just happened with the with the whole situation with Draco the Ruler at that concert there in December. Now, I know he had a little beef going on with the city of Inglewood, but guess what? All it took was some dudes to show up that didn't care about the other folks who paid tickets. Now, look what we got now, right? And you got people that just don't care about their life. And if they want to do that, they will do it on their own time. And it's unfortunate. I, I, I have buddies who have kids, you know, in, in, in cities like Black Philadelphia, Detroit, and, and then D.C. And they're, and they're praying to God to get their kids out of certain neighborhoods. As much as they want to help their children, stuff like that. Listen, man, they're growing up with people who just don't have the same values, man. I'm sorry. Not every not every African American person is, is the same. Okay, some of us want to be around and help our people, but some of us we can't. Some some of y'all gonna have to help our community from a, from afar. And whatever that means, you can be upset what I'm saying. But for Yelly to lose her life over a goddamn bowling ball family that 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 got to be talked about but guys what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk already appreciate you for all that you do subscribe to the bell check out the first clip at the top and as you know the buffoon remains at an all-time high I'm out